All indicators are pointing up stock to flow, and a new popular one is power law. They all go up. They're either all wrong or they're all right. And I have some extremely bullish news on that point here at the end of this. It's Monday, July 8th, 2024. That means it's time for another mining disrupt news surge. As always, this is not financial advice. I am here for entertainment and education purposes only, mostly the entertainment side of things to keep you up to date with what's happening in the Bitcoin space. Be sure to tap that like button, hit the subscribe, and leave a comment if you've got things to say. Let's jump over to the numbers. We are looking at a total Bitcoin price of $57,180, which means you'll get yourself, for the first time in a little while, over 1,700 sats per dollar, 1,749. The on-chain fees are low, low, low. You can see it right above my head here. We've got any time down to four, priority is six. And I saw it down to two for any time the other day, which is the lowest I think I've ever seen it. Total nodes online is 19,606. The average block time right now is almost on target of nine minutes and 58 seconds, which means that there will be a very slight 1% downward adjustment for the next difficulty adjustment in, well, this new block just came in, so it's hidden how many blocks it's going to be, uh, 1,630 blocks. So if you look at Bitcoin's price action chart and you think this is so volatile, this is risky, I don't like it, it's just a reflection of what's happening to our own money. I played that clip because that's a point that I have made numerous times when talking about the volatility of Bitcoin with other people. It is not a reflection of Bitcoin. Bitcoin just is. It's a reflection of the world around Bitcoin that is in constant flux, which is not a good thing. If your tape measure is five inches this long one day and then five inches this long the next day, well, depending on who you are, that might be a really good thing. But if you're a carpenter, it's not a good thing. Now, the next few clips I'm going to play are all from the exact same place. It's from a channel called Quant Bros. Everything is trending towards number go up. Like, if I ask you, in the next five to ten years, do you think MicroStrategy will stop buying? What's your answer? <laughs> no. No, right? <laughs> yeah. Is Tether going to stop buying for their treasury? Yeah, no. <laughs> no, right? Are other public companies like Semler or MetaPlanet going to stop appearing? Is MicroStrategy going to stop buying? No. Is Tether? No. And my favorite point is the thing that he says right at the end there. Are you going to stop seeing companies like MetaPlanet? And if you're not familiar, Dylan LeClaire joins MicroStrategy of Asia as director of Bitcoin strategy. MetaPlanet hired leading industry analyst Dylan LeClaire to drive its corporate Bitcoin strategy, further positioning itself as a MicroStrategy of Asia. Are we going to see less companies doing that? Is, is, are we done? Is this it? Is this just MicroStrategy, MetaPlanet, and, and that's it? Nobody else is going to do this. Now, on the point of companies that have already adopted buying more Bitcoin and not stopping, or new companies coming on board and starting to buy Bitcoin, listen to what Samson says here. All indicators are pointing up. And if you look at every single model that people create for Bitcoin, whether it's stock to flow and a new popular one is uh, power law, they all go up. There is no model for Bitcoin that goes down over time or stays flat. It's always up. That's a really, really important point there. All of the models that you see point to up. So either every single person that is looking at Bitcoin and coming up with some model and coming up with some trajectory, we're talking about Fidelity, we're talking about ARK, we're all, all of them, every single one of them talking about the trajectory of Bitcoin, they're either all wrong, every single one of them, or they're all right. Now, to what degree they're right remains to be seen. And this is right on the heels of what we were just talking about. Justin Sun offers to buy Germany's remaining 2.3 billion in Bitcoin to stabilize market. And here is that extremely bullish news I was talking about just a moment ago. Somewhere between here and 10 years later, we're going to be multiple millions of dollars. And the median growth is interesting because it, it is 60%. But if you look at it year by year, it's, it fluctuates wildly. It goes up and down sometimes, and the growth years can be massive. But on average, it's like 60%. So it's a very interesting and very conservative uh, estimate too. But by this estimate, I would say it's probably undershooting by a factor of three. So in 10 years time, it's probably $10 million a coin, not 2.9 million. It's probably undershooting by a factor of three. So in 10 years time, it's probably $10 million a coin, not 2.9 million. 
Do you know of anything else that's going to do from where Bitcoin is at right now a 166 increase? That's just rough numbers there. That means that if you put in $10,000 now, today, if you can find $10,000 to put into Bitcoin, that in 10 years time, your $10,000 has appreciated to 1.6 million. Right now is the best time to be taking your fiat, which is losing its purchasing power on a daily basis. That is a cold, hard fact of money and putting that into something that is going to hold your value much better for a longer period of time. Bitcoin is an option. There are other options, and it's not for me to say what you should do with your money. That is for you to say. But I will say that fiat, USD, wh whatever, whatever your local currency is, probably isn't the greatest place to store your wealth. Until next week.